Laser depigmentation is changing dark brown gum tissue into pink tissue by removing the melanocytes that are in the epithelial, the epithelium of the buccal mucosa. The um, physics of the periolase are going to allow it to be absorbed by melanocytes in the epithelial lining and on the epithelial surface of the tissue of the mucosa. The ablation setting is perfect. It just takes off that particular layer of the mucosa, leaving the underlying connective tissue in good shape. The process does require local anesthetic. The laser is basically used in a brushing motion on the tissue. The laser fiber delivers the energy, but the laser fiber does touch the tissue and it basically just peels it off, that top layer of gum tissue. Minimal, if any, bleeding. Because of the pulse duration, you're not going to have significant absorption into the bone. You're not burning the connective tissue. Your papilla is better cared for because again, that um, depth of penetration is not gonna be beyond that epithelium and the melanocytes. So the post-op care is non-steroidal pain medication. I don't prescribe antibiotics, maybe an antimicrobial rinse, but a non-alcohol type because it is a bit of an abrasion. Um, some type of um, you know light brushing is fine because you're not really affecting the teeth but um, there is going to be a need for pain medication. It really is a very easy procedure to do with the periolase.